what is going on guys welcome back to the channel we got a gla 250 out here it's a 2020 i actually made a video of this car recently and then i accidentally deleted the video before i had a chance to edit it don't drink guys anyway let's check this out it just started raining so hopefully the water droplets do not interfere with the audio let's get this done Let's go to the front. Hopefully this isn't too much of an issue. When I lean against the bolster here, makes a little bit of a sound. Do not confuse that with the rest of my test. And now for the button check.
And now for the final button. Here are the miles. All right, how did it do? Fit and finish wise, pretty much everything I touched in here squeaked. Pretty loudly too. Wasn't as bad as some other cars I've been in. This is still not great though. I mean, the biggest culprits really are by the window controls, the uh, gauge cluster area, the center console here. Center console armrest though. And the glove box were pretty solid. Overhead console wasn't horrible. Everywhere else was uh, not great. So I'm gonna give this a five out of 10 for fit and finish. As far as materials go, guys, if you've been in a lot of Mercedes, you'll know this. The GLA and the CLA for that matter, they are supposedly the cheapest cars that Mercedes makes. They're built to a lower standard than the rest of the lineup. If you get into a GLC, for example, or a GLE, you'll know what I'm talking about. Everything in this car does seem a step down from those cars. And that's really saying something, I'll be honest. We have a lot more hard plastic going on in this car than in some of the other models. I imagine the CLA is just like this too. This whole area right here and lower is hard plastic. It has the same texture though as the soft touch on the door and on the upper dash. We're in good shape here with the uh, vinyl material rest of it is hard plastic though basically from this whole line here and down the center console is hard plastic wish we had a little bit of a, a softer material going on there and guys I noticed this too about the about the car which is really odd there's like a little bit of a lip here when this black plastic here transitions to this beige plastic there's like a little tiny lip that you can feel with your finger. It's almost like sharp actually, so you might actually, uh, if you're not watching, you could cut yourself on this, or if you have dry skin or something, this is not ideal. This car is trying to cut you. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's there. It's a little lip. It's on both sides here. Just thought I'd point that out. The seats are MB Techs. No surprise there. And then we have some wood going on in here. It's not exposed grain wood. It's a smooth finish on here. Looks all right though. We have a cloth headliner and a plastic sun visor. Not the best. Wish we could have some cloth on the sun visor. And then the buttons and switch gear is very typical in Mercedes. I think it's a, actually, like I said, a step down in this car. These climate buttons here are a little bit cheaper feeling than uh, any other Mercedes model. Just a step down, uh, definitely very average buttons, nothing to write home about. Even the buttons are are blank in this car. This is a lot of Mercedes and German cars. However, we have a fake button right here. Some Mercedes models, you can adjust the headrest with power operation. You have an extra button up here for that. This is a fake button though, it doesn't move. It's in more than the other two buttons to control the seat. So why even put this here in the first place? Again, it's completely dysfunctional. You can't move the headrest with this. It's a manual headrest, but they have a fake button to make it look like you can power operate the headrest. I'd say the interior is pretty average. Again, it looks good. I mentioned this in my GLC video. All Mercedes interiors appear really good they look nice they're designed really well it's the same with this car I like the way it looks not the way it feels though so i'm going to give this a five out of ten for materials there you guys have it final score for both fit and finish and materials is five out of ten let me know your thoughts a select few of you may know that i actually have a gaming channel that I just barely uploaded any videos just started uploading a few as of lately um, I got a PS5 finally and I've been playing a few games such as Fortnite uploaded a few videos there if you guys are into that sort of thing 
go ahead and check that out. Watch me, uh, watch me suck as I've just started playing that game. Let me know what you guys think of the car, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Peace.